Being a low earner can be challenging, but it's not impossible to improve your financial situation. In this video, we'll explore strategies that can help you escape poverty and achieve financial comfort. Whether you're dealing with limited savings, high debt, or living paycheck to paycheck, there are steps you can take to build a better financial future. Financial struggles are common for people who don't earn much money. They often face several big challenges when it comes to managing their finances. One big problem is not being able to save much money. When you don't make a lot of money, it's hard to put any aside for emergencies or for when you retire. Low-income earners also tend to have a lot of debt. This can happen quickly when you're barely making enough money to get by. Credit cards with high interest rates, student loans, and medical bills can make life really tough for people with low incomes. Another tough thing is living from one paycheck to the next. This means there's never any extra money to save or invest for the future. To get out of poverty and start building wealth, you need to change the way you think about money. One important thing is to believe that you can improve your financial situation. This means understanding that your money situation can get better if you work hard and make smart choices. It's also important to face your money problems instead of ignoring them. Ignoring problems doesn't make them go away, it just makes them worse. You also need to be ready for things to go wrong sometimes. Everyone has setbacks, like losing a job or having unexpected expenses. But being able to bounce back from these setbacks is really important. Sometimes low earners are scared to take risks because they're worried about getting scammed. But sometimes taking a risk can lead to big rewards. Learning about how to manage money is really important. This means knowing how to make a budget, how to invest, and how to deal with debt. There are lots of free resources available to help you learn about money. It's important to change the way you think about wealth. Being wealthy isn't just about having lots of money, it's also about having the right mindset. Wealthy people think differently about money than poor people do. They focus on making more money and creating value instead of just trying to get by. Changing your mindset can help you build wealth and have a better life. Let's talk about simple ways for people with lower incomes to get out of poverty and start saving money. First up, budgeting. This means making a plan for how you'll spend your money each month. Here's how you can do it. 1. Figure out what you earn and spend. Write down all the money you make, like your paycheck or any extra jobs you have. Then list everything you spend money on each month, like rent or food. 2. Decide what you want to save for. Think about what you want to do with your money, like paying off a loan or buying a house. Then set aside some money each month to reach those goals. 3. Divide your spending into categories. Put your expenses into groups like rent or groceries. This helps you see where your money is going. 4. Focus on what you really need. Make sure you pay for the important stuff first, like housing and food. Try not to spend too much on things you don't really need. 5. Cut back on things you can live without. Look at where you're spending money and see if there's anything you can cut back on like eating out or buying stuff you don't need. 6. Use cash or apps to keep track. Some people like to use envelopes with cash for different categories like groceries or entertainment. Others use apps on their phone to help them keep track of spending. 7. Check your budget regularly. Every month, take a look at your budget and see if you're sticking to it. If things change, like you start earning more or less money, adjust your budget accordingly. Now let's talk about managing debt. Debt is when you owe money to someone else like a credit card company or a bank. Here are some tips for dealing with debt. 1. Talk to your creditors. If you're having trouble paying your bills, reach out to the people you owe money to. They might be able to help by lowering your interest rates or giving you more time to pay. 2. Pay off high interest debt. First, if you have debts with really high interest rates like credit cards, try to pay those off first. Paying more than the minimum amount each month can help you get rid of them faster. 3. Think about consolidating your debt. This means putting all your debts into one loan with a lower interest rate. Just be careful and make sure you're using a trustworthy company. 4. Choose a strategy. There are different ways to pay off debt. Some people start with the smallest debt and work their way up, while others focus on the debts with the highest interest rates first. 5. Avoid getting into more debt. While you're paying off your existing debts, try not to borrow any more money if you can help it. 
using credit cards only for emergencies can help you avoid getting deeper into debt. If you're struggling to make ends meet with your main job, picking up a side hustle can be a game changer. Here are some ideas. 1. Tour Guide You could lead tours around your city or local museums, sharing interesting facts and stories. It's often part-time work, and you might get tips on top of your pay. 2. Coach If you're into sports, coaching could be a good fit. You'd work with kids or teams helping them improve their skills and organize games. 3. Life Coach this is all about helping people set and achieve their goals. You could earn money by offering guidance and support to others. Moreover, having some money set aside for emergencies is really important. It's like a safety net for when unexpected things happen. Like if you suddenly need to pay for medical bills or fix something big at home. What is it? An emergency fund is money you save up specifically for unexpected expenses. Why do you need it? It helps you avoid getting into debt when something unexpected comes up. How much should you save? Start with enough to cover a big bill, like $500. Then aim to save up three to six months worth of living expenses over time. Where to keep it? Put your emergency fund in a savings account that gives you easy access to your money. Keep it separate from your everyday spending money, so you're not tempted to dip into it. And let's talk about investing. Investing is a way to make your money grow over time. One important concept to understand is compound interest. Compound interest is when you earn interest on your initial investment, and then you earn even more interest on that interest. It's like magic. The earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to grow. Another way to invest is in the stock market. Stocks are shares of companies, and they can offer good returns over the long term. You can also invest in mutual funds, which are pools of money from lots of investors that are used to buy a variety of stocks. The key to successful investing is to stay patient and not panic when the market goes up and down. Over time, your investments are likely to grow and make you more money. The key with investing is to start small, learn as you go, and give your money time to grow. By focusing on making more money, saving for emergencies, and learning about investing, even people with low incomes can start building a brighter financial future. It's all about taking small steps in the right direction. Let's take a look at some real-life stories of people who face tough times but manage to build significant wealth. Larry Ellison, the founder of Oracle, came from a difficult background. He was born to an unwed mother and was adopted, but faced many challenges along the way, including losing his adoptive mother and dropping out of college. Despite these setbacks, Ellison worked hard at odd jobs and eventually founded Oracle, a huge technology company making him one of the wealthiest people in the world. Another inspiring tale is that of Thomas Peterfee, who started with just $100 given to him by his father when he moved to the United States. Starting as an architectural draftsman, Peterfee gradually amassed wealth through his shareholding in interactive brokers, becoming a billionaire. Roman Abramovich, known for owning Chelsea Football Club, also faced early tragedy with the loss of both his parents. Raised by relatives, Abramovich worked various jobs, including as a street trader and factory mechanic, before finding success in business. For those looking to improve their financial situation, there are several tools and resources available. Financial literacy programs offer free online courses and workshops on budgeting, investing, and personal finance, providing a foundation for making informed decisions. It's really important to understand how money works. You can find free courses online that teach you about things like making a budget, investing, and handling your own money. Websites like Khan Academy, Coursera, and EDX have lots of good stuff to help you learn. Opening a high-yield savings account can help earn better interest on emergency funds, separating them from daily accounts to prevent impulsive spending. Investment apps and platforms offer user-friendly options for starting to invest with small amounts. Even if you don't have a lot of money, you can start investing. There are apps that make it easy for beginners. For example, Acorns rounds up the change from your purchases and puts it into investments. Robinhood lets you trade stocks without paying fees.
Wealthfront and Betterment are also good options because they make investment plans based on what you want and how much risk you're comfortable with. Networking and mentorship can also be invaluable. Connecting with successful individuals in your field and seeking mentorship allows for learning from their experiences and strategies. Escaping poverty requires dedication and smart financial strategies. We've explored key methods tailored for low earners to build a stronger financial future. What are your personal experiences with overcoming financial challenges? Share in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content on financial empowerment.